In this screencast, we're going to show how to take a, a Mobi file, an ebook Mobi file, that's sent to you an email and save it to your hard disk. In, a, in another screencast, we'll show how to do something with that file once it's saved on the hard disk, such as moving it to a real Kindle. To begin with, I'm going to bring up an email program. My friend John has helped me with this. We've installed his, his email in what's known as uh, Windows Live Mail. This demo is being done on Windows 7. And on Windows 7, it, do, it does not come with uh, an email program, an email client. So you're free to install whichever one you want. You can install a free one, uh, Windows Live Mail, as part of the Windows Live Utilities Package, or whatever they're calling it now. Anyway, I click here with the left button on the Start button. I've already installed Windows Live Mail. It's right here in my list. If it hadn't been in the list, I could type into the search box. I could just type uh, mail. See what comes up. Okay. Windows Live Mail has come up. If you don't have an email program, search on Google for Windows Live Mail and track that down and install it. It's pretty easy. Anyway, we've inst already installed Windows Live Mail for John. I'll click on this to bring up the program. Then I emailed John a, a copy of my Stormy Night ebook. Uh, I'm going to need to have John sign in. So wait just a minute. We'll have John sign in here. Okay, hopefully we're signing in to it. Okay, now it comes right up with a list of books in the inbox. If this if something else was highlighted. Well, there there probably are no drafts and sent items. But anyway, if inbox was not highlighted, you click on Inbox. Basically, you would collect your email however you're used to doing it. You don't have to be running this email program. The principles work the same regardless of your email client. The file will be sent as an attachment and you will save it to disk. Whether you're using Windows Live Mail or one of the other Windows Mail programs or whether you're using uh, some other email program, or even if you're using a web-based mail program. So here is the inbox, and this is John's inbox, and this is the email that I sent to him with, with the attachment. Hi John, yes I got your, this is what I wrote to John. Hi John, yes I got your email, okay. I thought you might like to see my newest ebook. I have it attached. Now, notice that it shows the attachments up here. The, the attachment has a file named stormy.mobi, M-O-B-I. So this is the ebook, the Amazon Kindle ebooks uh, that, you'll, that you can create with my program, the Kindle Butler program. Uh, the files all end in .mobi, Mobi. So here's the attachment. It's extremely simple to save this to disk. All you do is right click on this. Now you have a choice of opening it, etc. But what we want to do is to save as. So left click on the save as item. Now you get a file browser and you have to pick where you want to put it. Let's put it in our downloads directory. There you go, downloads. The file name is stormy.mobi. I'll just click Save. It's as simple as that. Now, let's open a file manager, a file browser. I'll right-click here 
on the Start button. I click on Open Windows Explorer, which is the file manager. I go to the Downloads directory, and sure enough, there's our ebook, Stormy.moby. If you had forgotten where you saved it, you could go to the C to the computer or to the C drive, and you could type in this search box. Let's just try asterisk .mobi, and up come all the all the Moby files on your computer, and we say, ah, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to close the file browser. We're back in the email program. That's how you handle it in this particular email program. However, whichever email program you have, there's going to be a way to see a list of the attachments of it to an email and a way to click on it, typically right-clicking, perhaps choosing from a menu. Now, John uses uh, a Hotmail email account. And when he set up this Windows Live email, he told Windows Live email to fetch his email from his Hotmail account. But there's another way to do it. So let's close this program. Because it's Hotmail, and several other email services work the same way, you can open a web browser and access your mail through a web browser. So let's do that here. We'll left-click on the Firefox icon to bring up the Firefox web browser. Now we're going to go to John's Hotmail account. We'll just type, start typing Hotmail. Uh, here we go. Now it remembers him from his previously having logged in here. So this is John Fulano's web, uh, web mail for Hotmail. So from this he can take a look at his inbox. Here's this item, go to inbox. Now of course you're going to use whatever email program you've been using. You'll know how to go to your inbox. You'll know how to download mail. All we want to show is how you save an attachment in case you don't know how yet. So we're going to go to the inbox. And here, here are the emails that are in his inbox. And one of them is the email I sent to John that has the, the ebook attached. Notice the paper clip in this column. That indicates this email has an attachment. So I'll just click on this email, left click, to open it up. Now we have the email, hi John, yes, and so on. And here's the attachment. The file name is stormy.moby. I'm going to download that attachment by left-clicking here. You've chosen to open stormy.moby. Do I want to open it? No, I don't want to open it. I want to save it to a file. Click on that. Click on OK. It brings up a file browser and gives me a choice of where I want to store the file. I'm going to store it in the downloads directory. Now, I've actually downloaded this file several times before. There was the original copy, there was a second copy, and now I have a chance to download the third copy. So suppose these two weren't there. Well, I'm going to rename this slightly so that I don't overwrite these two. I click here. Instead of stormy.moby, I'll name it stormy3.moby. Just something so it doesn't overwrite any other files you have. And then I click the Save button. That's all it takes. It's now downloaded that file to my downloads directory. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to close the webmail. Now I'm going to open the file browser again. Open Windows Explorer. Left click on that. Go to the downloads directory. And there's the most recent copy of this ebook that I have saved to disk. So the point is, in whatever email program you're using, whether it's web-based or one that runs on your Windows machine, there will be a way to see the attachments to your email. And it's usually a click or a left click on the attachment that will let you download it to your disk. 
then you pick where to put it. Downloads is a perfectly fine location to save it. Once you have your Mobi file, that is to say your Kindle ebook file, stored on your disk, then you'll be in a position to put it on a real Kindle to read it, or to open it in a Kindle application for the PC to read it on the screen. So that concludes today's screencast on saving an email ebook to disk.